So we know already some introduction part of cues was discussed uh, in our earlier or in our previous lectures. So what is meant by Q? So what is the principle we use in Q? It follows first in first out principle. Which is represented as FIFO. That means the element which is inserted first is the one which we are going to delete first. Whereas coming to start, start follows last in first out. So you just need to find out the difference between two. So coming to the applications of Q, we saw various applications like we'll be using this Q in WhatsApp. So I told you how they will be using this. So when we send any message, if the person is not online, then in that case, those messages will be stored in a queue. So for every user, a queue will be maintained. And once your friend comes online, then your messages will be delivered one after the other. So there we are applying queues concept. Similarly, online the booking system. So it can be uh, any ticket booking system like uh, uh, train tickets, flight tickets or it can be movie tickets. So if you block one particular seat, so if in movie ticket booking, how it will be done? So a set of seats will be shown to you right when you want to book a ticket. So in that case, say suppose uh, these are the seats which are left over and two to three members want, uh, are trying to book the tickets. So the persons who reserve the tickets or reserve these uh, seats first for them those seats will be allotted similarly the person who who is waiting in the second position in the queue so he will be, uh, he'll be like uh, he will block these two seats then he will get like that persons will be in a queue there also so person who blocks the seats first will get the uh, so a movie ticket. So in the, in the same way, even for uh, various uh, reservations like train ticket or flight ticket etc. There also, based on this uh, queues only, tickets will be allotted to the individuals. So like that we saw various applications of queues. Uh, coming to operations here, so we have operations like uh, NQ, So NQ is nothing but insertion. So it is done at rear end. Whereas in order to delete an element, deletions can be done using this operation BQ which is done at front end. I'll tell you what is front end where. Next other operations are ease entry. and is full. So we use this in stacks. So is empty is used to check whether Q is empty or not uh, because we can't insert anything into Q if it is uh, sorry, if we can't delete anything from Q if Q is empty. Similarly in, in is full. If Q is already filled with elements then we can't insert any elements into the Q. So these are the four operations. So Q will be represented like this. So which is open at both the ends. Whereas start is open only at one end. Suppose, so we are using terms like front and rear. So initial values of front and rear are minus one. Just like how top value is minus one in case of stack, we are, we are will be using these two terms for Q in this case. Okay now. So I told you NQ means insertion which starts at rear end. So rear end means this end. Whereas front end means this end. So insertion takes place from rear whereas deletion takes place from front. So initially so let us take empty Q like this. So first in order to insert an element so I need to increment this rare value, right? 
So first I'll increment rear and front. Now front and rear both of them point to location zero. So this is location zero. Now I insert value one here. Next, if I want to insert this value two, then increment value of rear. So rear now points to location one and insert value two. So in order to insert at location three, then again increment this rear. So this is location two and enter the value. Similarly at location three and then at location four. So now my rear is pointing to location four. Whereas here you are not going to increment this front because we are performing insertion operation. So insertion is done at rear end. So we are going to increment only rear values in order to uh, insert elements into queue. Then how to delete? So for deletion, your deletion you will be incrementing this front. Okay. So if you deleted, say suppose you deleted uh, values at location zero and one, then your front will be incremented to location two. These two elements are deleted. Okay. So in order to in, in, uh, add elements into queue, will increment rear value. Whereas in order to delete elements from queue, will be incrementing front value. So this is the logic of queues. So now we will see a program. So we will see how these ease empty and easeful methods are useful. So let us declare size max. Equal to 5. So I am taking function boolean is fully so is full condition so here I am going to check whether the queue is full or not for that condition is if front equal to 0 and rear equal to max size minus 1 then return true else return false ok so easeful condition it's here, here we can check that whether the queue is full or not by using this condition. If front equal to 0 and rear equal to max minus 1. That means front is pointing to location 0. Assume that we have already inserted 5 elements into the queue and front is pointing to 0. Okay. Second condition is rear equal to max size minus 1. So maximum size is 5. 5 minus 1 is 4. So rear is pointing to 4. So since both the conditions are satisfied, it indicates that Q is full. So in that case it will return true. If this condition is false, then uh, if this condition fails, then in that case it returns false. Next. Second one is, second method is ease empty. So this is used to check whether Q is empty or not. So for that condition is if front equal to minus 1 return true else return false. So when can we say that the queue is empty? When front value is minus 1. Okay. So front. So we deleted all elements from the queue. Okay. And now if front value is minus 1. Then it indicates that there is nothing in queue. Because initial value of front is minus 1. If it again reach to same 
value then in that case what it represents it represents that there is nothing in the q okay so we will take that condition if prime t equal to minus 1 then it will return true otherwise it indicates that there are uh, elements in the q so it returns false Now we'll see how to write the uh, NQ and DQ operations. So void NQ So in NQ operation first uh, we'll call if is full okay so we are using this method to check whether the q is full or not so if this condition is true then system dot out dot print in you will get uh, q is full else check if front equal to minus 1 so if front equal to minus 1 then you need to make front value as 0 ok so initially front and rear both of them points to minus 1 only so in order to uh, insert also Oh, you need to make this front equal to 0 and so I told you initially in a, like uh, we need to increment both front and red and both front and red points to location 0 then increment rare because rare is also minus 1 initially so rare is equal to sorry we can write it as vr plus plus incrementing by 1 so that from minus now rail is pointing to location 0 and here uh, you need to write it as uh, ok we are going to store items of rear so we are going to store element in in this location so items of rear next it is system dot out dot print insert insert the element okay so first we'll check q is uh, q condition Next, we will be incrementing or we will change this value of front to 0. Then we will increment ray. So, front and ray points to location 0. So, here name of my array is items. So, I am going to place element at items of rear. Rear value is 0. So, first element will be inserted at items of 0. So, I am inserting 1. So, here I will print insert 1. Next again, again check this whether Q is full. No. Then, here uh, front is front value is not minus 1. It is already 0. So, no need to do this. Now, increment value of rail. So, rail is now incremented to location 1. And, store element at items of 1 so at location 1 we are going to store 2 and then print insert 2 after this again check this condition q is not full and here this condition is false increment rare so rare is now incremented to 2 so you can insert element at items of 2 so insert value 3 so here you will get insert 3. Next again check the condition. So all these conditions are false. Rare value will be incremented. 
Right now points to location 3. So you can insert element at location 3. Items of 3. So insert at location 3. Next again check condition is full. No. So this condition is false. Increment rare. Rare is now incremented to location 4. So element should be inserted at items of 4. So at location 4 I am going to insert element 5. Next. So here it will print insert 5. After this check whether uh, check is full. Is full condition is if rank equal to 0. So whenever we increment rare value. Now rare value points to location 4. So check this is full. If rank equal to 0. Yes rank equal to 0 and rare equal to size minus 1. So rare is equal to minus minus 1. 5 minus 1 that is 4. So this Q is completely filled with all the items. So it returns true and you will get the messages Q is full. So now you can't insert any more elements into the Q because Q is already full. Okay. So this is about how to insert elements into Q.